Hey guys, what's up? I'm going to review the latest full day of eating by Heftor Björnsson. What's up everyone? How are you guys doing? Welcome to a full day of eating. I'm excited for this one. This has been on the agenda now for a while to film a full day of eating. Uh, I haven't done one of things since 20... He does look strong, mostly because he's tall. That's why you naturally look strong. But he also looks incredibly old. Guess how old he is? He's 35. If you would have guessed 50, then I wouldn't blame you because uh, when I look at him, yeah, I would say that he looks like a 50 year old. Yeah, at least. It's funny, like strongman diet. So, so uh, it's gonna be cool to see what the people think and also just to show my, show the small changes there and there. Then let's go inside. I'll, I'll introduce you to a new member of the... The kitchen, the chef. The kitchen, the chef. Here we have... What? Uh -huh. Hi. For those who don't know, this is my dad, Birdo. I hired my dad as my... They almost look the same age. <laughs> a chef, because there's nothing more boring than eating a food you don't like. It's crazy how bad he looks like. He looks incredibly sick and old. That's what drugs do to you. But even if you wouldn't have used so many drugs, of course, working out and eating so much will also age you. He just looks insane. Wow, man, you really destroyed your life. Icelandicbear.com or no, maybe that's not good. No, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. I like their accent. <laughs> what are you making now? We're now making a... Uh... My beautiful morning drink. Actually, I took this with every single meal. And here I'll have 245... Oh, 48. Oh, man. 48. Oh, uh, man. Grams of, the day of, of orange juice. Uh, and then 200 grams of skier. What kind of skier is this? Whole skier. Oh, the best, best skier. Okay. Okay. Uh, so this is a pro prototype. Sorry for the logo. <laughs> Alright. Oh, nice one. It's probably some kind of Icelandic yogurt, I assume. I've never heard of it. And uh, the orange juice wouldn't be too bad if it was raw orange juice. Um, I don't know, it's from a glass bottle. Maybe we can assume that it is. 208. Good job, It's okay. No wasting food. No wasting food here. Wasting protein. And we'll add some uh, blueberries. Like you get some berries. So we'll leave this one out. We'll put 100 grams of... Uh, one bloopers. If it's actually wild blueberries without pesticides, then it's pretty nice. Um, maybe you can get them in Iceland. I wouldn't be surprised. It's actually funny what a loser slave he is. The Icelandic people always used to drink blood, eat a lot of animal organs, and if they would make a shake, if that was even possible, then it would be a shake of organs, blood, and whatnot, whereas now he, okay, he gets dairy, all right, uh, it could be worse, but uh, it's still slave food at the end of the day. Dairy is, of course, not available in nature as such, and uh, just some wild blueberries and orange juice. It's maybe good for hydration. The drink is red, and you're really just an embarrassment for your Icelandic ancestors. The problem is that when you eat like this, you destroy your genes. His children will be smaller than him, and their children will be even smaller, and so on, because they don't live like their Icelandic ancestors. The reason he's so tall and probably has big bones from what it looks like. Good genes is because his ancestors ate animal organs, the fish, raw, the way it should be naturally, and now he eats orange juice with wild blueberries. <laughs> also, oh my God, what is he giving him weight? Oh, okay, Grandpa fixed it. Okay, for a second I thought that it's some kind of garbage cake or some kind of food, but no, it's just a toy. <laughs> they probably do give the child garbage. I already said this in the Eddie Hall video, but it's the same problem here again. These kind of men don't care about their children whatsoever, because if they did, 
then they wouldn't do what they are doing. They are body destroyers. They reduce their lifespan by decades. He consciously knows that he will not be around when his child grows up. His son is definitely, if he continues now, gonna grow up without a father. And he just doesn't care. For him, his stupid career and uh, getting attention from people, proving to people how much man-made metal you can lift for no reason like a slave is more important than being around for his child. That's gonna traumatize his child. And his child is, uh, you could say, 50% him and 50% the wife. Uh, we can assume that. It's not exactly like that, of course, but my point is that he's gonna destroy half of himself, the future self. Uh, it's just crazy. He's not gonna be around for himself, essentially. Grandpas can fix it, everything. It was broken. It was broken, but grandpa fixed it. You can see that the grandpa looks uh, way better than him just because he probably had a better upbringing. What does quarantine mean? <coughs> How do you say quarantine in English? <coughs> oh, the child is sick. Probably because of the weather. You very easily get sick in cold weather and it's usually cold in Iceland. That's why the people there live inside most of the year. It's uh, depressing in a way. Is this uh, your breakfast? Eggs? Three, three eggs, part of my breakfast. We gotta get some protein in, you know. Mm -hmm. I get some protein, obviously, from my steer, um, from eggs and some milk as well. I used to drink milk with every single meal, mm -hmm. but I think a lot of dairy, like a too much dairy, um, cost me some, some inflammation. But I have skewed with every meal, and that, that seems to be. F you should get raw milk instead of the pasteurized garbage that you consume. Surely you can get raw milk in Iceland. There must be tons of cows and other animals. Fine. I love skewed, obviously. Uh, but, but too much milk seems to not agree to me. Wow. What? Come in my house. Wow, he showed me all this. Everything. Yeah, he showed me everything. I get started. I get started, yeah. With the breakfast, I'll... The kid is already getting brainwashed. Oh my god. I have cooked rice, 550 grams. Yeah, eat rice like a freaking slave. What is wrong with you? Such an embarrassment for Icelandic people. <laughs> rice. Where can you find rice in Iceland? How stupid are you? Rice only has arsenic, sugar, and fiber. It's basically the worst food on earth. What the hell are you doing? 550. Oh. And so incredibly much rice. What's wrong with you, man? The eggs were good. The whole bowl? should be full of eggs and ideally animal organs and blood. Fuck three, okay? <laughs> uh, so be, yeah. I guess. I put chicken stock with all my meals because it just makes it so much easier to eat. Like, look at this rice. Isn't yes, exactly, because rice itself tastes horrible or just bland. Of course, you need to add something to it. Everybody who eats rice adds something to it because they don't like the rice itself. Okay, dry, but... Just pouring some things like in it makes it so much easier to eat. So I promise you guys, try it out. Another tricks from uh, Stan, the man himself. 520, I'm supposed to take 500, but... He looks like he has a huge gut that's shining through the t-shirt. No wonder, with all of the rice, all of the insulin, the pancreas, of course, insulin belly. 520 is better than 500, so... All right, guys, breakfast, three eggs, 550 grams rice, uh, 100 grams strawberries, uh, 500 grams milk. He still drinks milk. For sure, it's not raw milk. I can bet on it. Uh, the strawberries are full of pesticides, 100%. The rice I already talked about, the worst slave food on earth besides bread. And um, the eggs, only the eggs are good. 400, uh, no, 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 245 grams of, 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 of orange juice. What orange juice, what wild blueberries, stop it, you loser, man. Your Icelandic ancestors are turning in their graves. Get some freaking blood, that's what should be in that uh, jar or whatever. Drink that, be a man. How are you a man? You're a drugged up junkie with a huge insulin gut. Your tattoos won't fool anybody, you're a loser. With some 200 grams of, of skier 
and some hundred Skin. grams of blueberries. There you go. There you go. Lot of grams. Lot I am my little baby. I will eat my blue belly. Bleh, bleh, bleh. I'll find grams of everything here. Um, and you can enjoy this. <laughs> Boom. Wow. Spider Man's here. Yeah. Hi, Spider Man. You better eat your, you better eat your Spider -Man. breakfast. I'm going to eat your breakfast. You're going to pick it strong. Ah. <laughs> no. Don't do that for me. <laughs> Don't do that. At least the Spider Man figure has a sort of normal physique. I often have some sourdough bread with jam and maybe peanut butter if I feel. What bread? What jam? What peanut butter? <laughs> like I can eat more. I'm not gonna do it now because I just feel I, yeah, I'm, I'm full but not uncomfortably full. Um, I don't really think you should never be uncomfortably full. That means that you ate a lot of fiber, which is indigestible. Your gut is probably bloated. It's literally when your body can process the food that you eat. Whereas if you eat a lot of meat, then your body, no matter how much you eat, can always process it. That's when you can know that you're eating the wrong diet and you are completely. I need to. Um, I'm not really trying to gain weight at the moment. Even though it wouldn't hurt if I would, I'm weighing in around. You're severely obese. You have body dysmorphia. Why would you gain weight? <laughs> What's your BMI? Probably like 40 plus for sure. 191, 2kg at the moment. I <laughs> that's, that's super, very severe obesity. Oh my God. I know that I'll probably be slightly heavier at the competition day because soon... Uh, so, uh, can you even talk properly, man? Why such long pauses? What's going on with your head? I'll be training less and that means I'll be moving talk. less. Talk and like a normal human being. Basically, uh, burning less calories, um, so I'll be gaining more weight. Um, now, next up, I'm gonna do my cold plunge. I do cold plunge every single morning. Um, and actually, first up next is a 10 minutes walk. All right, guys. So, like I said, I'm gonna do my 10 minutes walk, basically bike. Um, I sometimes walk outside, I sometimes bike inside. Um, this really depends what's more convenient. Now it's a lot more convenient to do it uh, here uh, in my greenhouse uh, because uh, it's firstly cold outside and uh, it's snowy and, and icy. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> it's too cold to go outside for a walk, but afterwards you want to do a cold plunge. Are you even in any way listening to yourself? You're so severely brainwashed, it's unbelievable. So I don't want to risk myself falling. Um, so yeah, I'll do 10 minutes here. And like I said, basically the reason why I'm doing this is just to help with my digestion. Also by moving my body consistently throughout the day for 10 minutes. Stop eating such garbage slave food and you won't need any help with your digestion. Not that it would help anyway. You know, meals helps me a lot with my blood pressure. Okay, every single morning, guys, I do three minutes of cold plants. I've been doing this for quite some time right now. And for how long? Um, maybe a few years, right? Because that's when Wim Hof came out with it. The mainstream media started reporting about it. And that's when all of the slaves who have no thoughts of their own started doing it blindly because you're such losers that you can't even think for yourself. Nobody on YouTube or anywhere says that they have been doing cold plunges for 10 plus years even, let alone 20 years. No, because you heard about it only some years ago. Humans never used to do it. Never. It completely goes against our nature. It's, I was dealing with some, I was dealing with a lot of inflammation when I started this stroma journey again. And this really helps me. No, it doesn't help you whatsoever. And this has been proven in studies. I have made tons of videos about this. What cold plunges or the cold in general does is it numbs down your body, it stops the inflammation, which is bad anyway, because the inflammation is what heals your body, it repairs your body literally, and afterwards, 
the inflammation gets even worse because your body now has to produce a lot of white blood cells. It has to fight the infection caused by cold plunges. And again, this has been proven in studies. The cold literally activates your immune system because your body feels attacked because it is being attacked by the cold. Just to maintain that to minimal, because it was to the point where I was just struggling in daily life. Uh, but by doing the cold plunge, not only do I feel better man, like in my head, but also physically a lot. So yeah, I'll Did he just say that he feels a better man in his head? Yes, we can really hear that you really sound like you're doing good. Finish, I'll finish three minutes here. And I'll take my son to school. Let's go. Don't take your son to school, man. Homeschooling is the only way to live today. And if you can't in Iceland, then move to a different country, seriously. All right, let's get some rain. Hey, you want some rain? Um, yes. What would you like? Um, something I haven't tasted before. I actually Maybe. don't think you have tried this one. I don't think I have either. Chocolate this? Storm. Wow. I actually might go for the same. I'm a big sucker for other streams ago, as many of my followers know, but uh, let's go for this one. It's good to have a tropical storm. We're not used to tropical storms, just cold ones. You know, so uh, it's, a, it's a good change. A cold uh, tropical storm. Oh, okay, okay. I slept it. Fits one, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. So, next meal, guys. I have rice, 450 grams. I have steak, 110 grams. Okay, heat some steak, that's great to hear. It's probably overcooked, meaning that the protein is partly destroyed, but again, rice, <laughs> why? Vegetables, 100 grams. Here I have half hour. Why vegetables? Those vegetables don't even exist in nature. Why would you eat them? Why would you eat something that human beings never used to eat up until really just two decades ago? Avocado as well, half avocado. And then this what avocado, man? You're from Iceland. Same drink I had before. Um, the skier and orange juice, always with each and every meal. The, the, the OG is 245 grams. At least he gets somewhat hydrated, better than most of the bodybuilders, because he drinks these shakes. Um, that's about it. And then 200 grams of uh, skier. All right. Um, I this is lunch. This is lunch. Okay. Simple, effective. You do this every time. Some, with some rain, have some drink here, you flush it down with. Here I have to do some additional electrolytes because I'm a fucking massive guy. I fucking sweat a lot. I need a lot of fucking electrolytes. You don't sweat a lot because you're a massive guy. You sweat a lot because you use a lot of drugs and because you're very stressed throughout the day. Your height most definitely won't make you sweat more. I hope that it's needless to say. Your weight uh, technically could, if you would, again, be stressed a lot. And I have salt, it's more sodium. I don't even know how much sodium I fucking take every day. I take a lot of fucking sodium. 10 grams or something? Fucking lot of salt oh, in it. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> he doesn't in any way look like he enjoys his meals. Oh my God, look at those wrinkles, that's crazy. Wow, he doesn't even look 50, he looks more like 60 here. And um, that's of course no surprise because he generally seems very depressed. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, here I have meal number three. I have... The guy can hardly even move. Uh, it seems like any kind of movement is a little bit of almost torture for him. Some rice, steak, same amount of rice as before. So this is 450 grams. Same garbage again, whatever. Huh? What are you having? Popcorn! He gives the child popcorn. <laughs> He's a worse father than I thought. Popcorn is worse than bread. It's one of the worst. It's not even food. It's one of the worst toxic... I don't know what to even call it. You can give to anybody. It's just horrible. It's actually child abuse. The best popcorn we can find in Iceland. This one right here has coconut oil. There is no such thing as good popcorn. Idiot. Soft and just mice. There's only three ingredients. And mice is corn. Mice and corn, yeah. My bad. <laughs> Small standing there. All right, yeah. Have fun. Have on. We gotta show the people. That's cute. <laughs> but also very sad because the child thinks that he's giving daddy a sort of treat, but uh, in reality, he's being poisoned. He's poisoning daddy. 510 milliliters of milk uh, with some two slices of bread, jam, 
uh, one, 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 one jam and peanut butter. I'm gonna put peanut butter also on it. And then I thought that he doesn't drink so much milk, but it seems like he does still. And he actually really eats bread with marmalade and peanut butter. <laughs> what an absolute joke. Bread is really, besides popcorn, the worst thing that you could possibly eat. It really only has anti-nutrients, fiber and sugar, not even any micronutrients. It's just absolute garbage. The jam is just sugar again, probably heated sugar, which is worse. And uh, peanut butter, reflotoxins, phytic acid, just absolutely horrible meals. The milk, if it wasn't pasteurized, would actually sort of save the meal almost. But because it is, what is even left in there? It's really just white liquid with sugar because uh, the pasteurization destroys the micronutrients, such as vitamin D, which is why they always said synthetic vitamin D to the milk, but that's fake vitamin D. It's actually a toxin. Look into what supplements actually are. 99% of them are toxins. One with uh, bananas. Um and butter and butter which personally you guys i think this is the weirdest snack this is the perfect example of how to destroy your genes how to make the next generations way smaller than you <laughs> here we have uh 450 gram rice 150 uh, gram steak was the steak looks kind of raw in the middle which is great more arsenic of course because of the rice this is like almost 100 grams of some beans. Green beans. Green beans. Just like that guy that I reviewed. He ate green beans with almost every meal of his for no reason. There's just nothing in green beans in general. There's just absolutely zero reason to eat them. They don't even exist in nature like that. Thank you, babe. You're welcome. You enjoying this meal, Summer? Yep. All right, the kid gets... Oh my God, he actually gets rice. <laughs> he eats rice. He gets arsenic. Oh my God, man. But at least he gets some meat, yeah? I knew it. All right, here I have, let me see my half of my face, but that's okay. Here I have a meal, number uh, uh, four, five, uh, four. If you don't what's come, wrong with this? Five, we call this All right, guys, so this is meal five, five, six, if you count the snack I had earlier. Uh, this is my next meal. So here I have half an avocado. Here I have 110 grams. He actually eats a plant-based diet. <laughs> oh my God! What would his Icelandic ancestors think about him? They would laugh themselves to death. Is that the camera guy? Interesting tattooed head, kind of strange. All right, guys, just finished my meal. I am feeling satisfied. I'm feeling um, full. Everything gone. I, um, yeah, I was good. I was good. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. What I think is that you're an absolute embarrassment for your Icelandic ancestors, as I said before they would uh, be incredibly embarrassed if they would see what you eat and what you're doing to your family also as i said because you cannot care about your family if you're clearly killing yourself that's what you're actually doing whether you're really conscious of it or not doesn't really matter because you for sure cannot look in the mirror and think that you look like you're 35 years old no you biologically have completely aged and actually destroyed your body that's why you look like you're at least 50 years old and actually 60 plus in some shots. It's because of all of the drugs, the working out, the immense stress on your body. And um, of course, the overeating, because uh, the more you work out, the more you eat, the more stress there is, the more food you need all of the time and the more you need to repair your body. But you can because you take cold plunges, which actually hinder the repair of your body. And all of the arsenic will also not help. You're not actually eating nutritious foods which repair your body but instead you eat foods which have hardly any micronutrients which are not even found in Iceland which generally no human being should be eating it's absolute slave food it's exactly what the government not necessarily the Icelandic one but a lot of other governments want the slaves to eat and that's because uh, it's way easier to control the slaves when they are malnourished and their brains are not working and your brain is not working whatsoever. You can think of 
what words you want to say. It was just painful to watch you because I'm looking at an absolutely sick, destroyed human being who's actually mentally really unwell. I could actually call you mentally ill because of what I just saw in this video. Thanks for watching.